Hello, uh, another Vivian Universe, this is the Vivian Wizard, and welcome back to another video. And today, in this video, we're once again playing Minecraft Communities as we self and are here on this channel on a Saturday at 7 o'clock. Don't know why I started the video holding pumpkin pie, just sort of thought I'd shake it up. To be honest, no, I did not. It was just a bit of a happy accident. Well, it wasn't really happy, uh, but it was an accident, so it. Yeah, I guess I was right because I said it was a bit of a happy accident and it's only the happy part. No, it's not the happy part. It's only the accident part. So, just thought, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm on about. Well, I, I know what I'm on about. I don't know whether I'm making any sense and whether you know what I'm on about. And, like, when I was editing one of the other videos, like, a few weeks ago... Well, a few weeks ago from when you're watching this, um, I realised... That I hadn't actually been feeding my dogs properly. Like, I'd been running past the dog house every day and I hadn't given them any breakfast to eat and I hadn't been taking any of them with me. And to be fair, I think it's quite a good idea not taking any of them with me because, like, I don't really want any of them to die. So I think it's probably best that I just leave them to their own thing. And to be fair, it's not really very much fun coming with me because you. Oh, hello, chicken. <laughs> You're just coming down the stairs, are you? Visiting the town. Um, but yeah, the, um, that it's not very fun because you just sort of come with me and then I sit you down and go and build a thing that half the time you don't actually get to go inside. So that's why I don't really like taking dogs with me. And where's your owner? Because like, there seems to be, there's a llama all the way up there and there's a sheep and everything. What on earth, what on earth is going on today with the local wildlife? They seem to be going absolutely berserk. And I'm going to go and um, just say hello to the sheep and this llama and see whether there are any other people up here. Because that seems to be a common trend I've noticed. There seem to be loads of those wandering trader llamas. And ah, oh, nope. Uh, can I? Yes, I can get up there. Uh, there seems to be loads of wandering traders llamas, but no wandering traders. Because I assume something must have happened to them. What that thing is? I mean, we can probably all guess, and I think I've actually been up here before because I think I labelled it like Llama Mountain or something. Let me check. Uh, yeah, Llama Mountain. This is Llama Mountain because there were so many llamas on here before, and there are still a few llamas, but they're slowly retreating back down the mountain because I assume you can see his friends down there. And I have only just realised how cool. Forgive the expression as I'm running around on snow, but how cool the town looks from up here. Like it's starting to be like a proper little town now let's let's go all the way over here just over to this gravel bit um just this gravel that's sticking out with a piece of snow on top like so like yeah this is this is starting to look like a proper little town now i'm actually incredibly impressed with how this has come along i mean when you th consider it's taken like a year and a half that's probably not that good actually has it um Started in like May or I think even June 2018 doing this new community. So yeah, it's been like a year and a half, I guess. That is, to be fair, really, really good. And I don't think too many people, actually no, a lot of people would have been able to do get this far. But not too many people would have been able to do it this effectively as me um, and had buildings that look this good. Because I mean, these buildings, Actually, maybe this street isn't the best example, but some of these buildings look quite nice, if you ask me, and all the buildings over there. But I think next time we're going to be building over in this direction, like next to the blue greenhouse, because it's starting to really veer off in this way. And I want to make sure that it doesn't look really barren over here. Uh, like I want to make it like probably nice and even. So, and I realise I have just wasted like five minutes of the video already just waffling on and explaining my plans for the future. But we've always got to like take into consideration our plans for the future because otherwise the future is going to come along and you're not going to know what to do. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm essentially just going to build part of the stage first. So, if we find the two middle blocks, like so, I'm fairly sure these are the two middle blocks. Uh, they look like the two middle blocks. Let me just check one two three four five six and Then one two three four five six. Yes, these are in fact the two middle blocks But I did do it slightly differently 
because I did it like this because I wanted to make sure that, uh, so this is going to be like a stage so I said in the last video uh, what's happening with it is it's going to be like a um, sort of like well not a theatre but well, yeah sort of a bit like a theatre and we're going to have like music shows and stuff going on here maybe even the occasional play it's going to have to be a very very small play and I've done this slightly differently I need to go out like this so it goes out by one two and then just goes out there and then the whole reason why I need to do it like this is just then it looks a bit nicer um, and actually what I might do is I might get rid of this block in the middle yeah I think that actually looks a bit better then down here there's just going to be like a, a set of stairs uh, just leading up there so I might go and make that now very quickly and then I'll put those down um, there's no more cobblestone in here why is there no more cobblestone uh, okay let's not let's not worry about that for now let me just go and put down the spruce fence and the lever this is going to be like the microphone stand that's going to be there and obviously people can um, like not use the microphone stand they can just pick up the microphone if they want they can pick up the microphone stand if they want but there needs to be a microphone there needs to be a stand for the microphone to stand on while it is just lolling about here so let me just put that over here facing towards us and there we go that is roughly the uh, microphone of this place done so it looks quite a small place but then when you stand over here it looks like quite a big place it's quite weird but it's it's like pretty much the exact same as an actual place like that um, but yeah so what I want to do is uh, wait what am I the only one that just heard that giant explosion I'm fairly sure something just exploded and what that thing is I'm not entirely sure but I think it came from over roughly in that direction there's no creeper it's just exploded around here is there let me just go and run around here and have a quick look no I can't see any creepers and it wouldn't have been underground because obviously there's no one currently underneath the ground for the creeper to have exploded that is very odd I'm gonna go and just have a quick look over in this direction just because I I want to make sure that nothing bad has happened like especially to make sure that there's nothing to do with Johnny Gap because he he is very explosive I will give him that he knows how to make an entrance and he's incredibly explosive which is I assume why he decided to uh, blow up my house and Laurie's house um, like when I went in it to go and get I think it was after uh, terracotta wasn't I and yeah you can see his castle up there but is, is that on fire is his castle on fire I mean it is why on earth is his castle on fire has he tried to like blow me up and like a TNT cannon like exploded on him or something there's some pieces of wood up there I don't know what that's doing but like there's a giant hole in it as well was his castle what I heard explode from all the way over there that right there is some incredible range and it I'll give it to him he's incredibly explosive but I want to make sure I'm there's a spider through there that scared me slightly I want to make sure that like I approach with a little bit of caution because either he's done this to try and draw me here because I know I will help if he's injured or he is injured and he needs help either way I should probably um, be a little bit more cautious than I normally would be wandering around here because there has just been a bomb that's gone off and I'm not the biggest fan of bombs I will admit and yeah look at this it's all on fire there's there's vines everywhere that is a tiny bit odd Let, let's see whether we can get in through the entrance there's a giant hole underneath there there, there seems to be like a little basement there's another sheep over there I assume that sheep was scared by the um, explosion which is why he's just ran all the way over there but like what like this is the entrance by the looks of things so someone must have blown this up let's try and put some of this fire out hello Johnny Gat are you here this is the cell I was captured in all those time ago I've got pickaxe this time so I can uh, chop down this door without having to worry about it oop nearly just walked straight into the fire what's through here stuff room looks like there's no stuff in the stuff room that's slightly ironic 
Johnny Gat, are you here? Hello, Johnny Gat. Is anybody home? Um, I I can't hear anyone. Storeroom. There doesn't seem to be anything here. There seems to be a lot of fire and a lot of holes everywhere. That right there is a tiny bit odd. And can I jump through there without jumping in the fire? Once again, that was incredibly dangerous. But I will give it to him. Once again, incredibly explosive. Um, why are all these vines over here? I got armies. Oh my goodness! It was Igor. Well, it wasn't Igor. It was Igor's army, I guess. But that's obviously part of Igor. That must be why all these vines are here. Why they're all so new and not dead like the ones were in the... Um, in the underground area leading up to his little hideout. Oh my goodness. He must have done this. He must have killed Johnny Gat. Johnny Gat might actually be dead. All these years, all these time travel shenanigans that it took me and Laurie and the rest of the community's gang to try and take out Igor, um, Johnny Gat. And Igor's just gone and done it for us. Um... That is, I will admit, a tiny bit odd. So I think there's only one thing that we can really do right now. And I think that's going to see Igor. I think we need to find out what he, what he's done and why he has done this. Because this is not normal behaviour for Igor. Maybe, I don't know why he could have done this. Unless this wasn't done by Igor and it was done for Johnny Gat himself or something. And he just decided maybe he wants me to lure me over there or something. I don't know. Like, why... Why would Igor blow up Johnny Gat and kill Johnny Gat? Like, from what I'm aware, they had no... Like, they didn't know each other beforehand, from what I can tell. I don't think there was any, like, thing where they were working together or against each other or anything. I just always assumed they were both just evil. They both just happen to exist like that can happen there can be more than one evil person at one time but I assume I assume maybe Igor I don't know why he's done this like I'm surprised to be fair that he has regrown because I only killed him like a couple of weeks ago and he did say that he would regrow but I thought it would take longer than that for a tree to grow again but if we just go and run over or swim over here I guess and I just want to make sure nothing's happened to my um Boaty McBoat face because if something happens to that I'll be incredibly sad I will admit so let's just go and um, run over here to Igor's place well Igor's place I guess is um, underneath the streets isn't it so we need to go down the place that we last went unless he's maybe moved this time I don't know whether we will have moved just because once again it hasn't been too long and he did seem to have quite the operation going on there so we need to really um, like act quite quickly and I want to make sure Dr. Peterson's okay as well just because he was always Johnny G Gat's target and now that I Johnny Gat's Igor's target I hope Dr. Peterson won't be as well and oh hello Do oh hello um you seem to have changed your outfit a little bit um so uh I, I'll just leave you to are you stuck inside this composter is it is a composter isn't it i don't know but are you stuck in this compost thing because i think that is whoops i think that is a compost thing i don't have anything to compost wait can i put i can yeah he is stuck inside the compost thing wow dr peterson oh i've just wasted all that pumpkin pie and all i've got is a piece of bone meal well, that was an absolute waste of time. But anyway, Doc, right, there's a thing that's happened. Igor has killed Johnny Gat. I know it sounds crazy, and that's because it is a bit crazy. But you just keep yourself safe at all costs, because I'm going down to see Igor now. So just make sure you are safe. Right, so Dr. Peterson seems to be a bit fine. Seems to be pretty unfazed by the explosion that happened. But this is the area that we should probably have to go down and whoops didn't mean to just close that on myself and I landed on the wrong side there we go Oop, didn't mean to uh, nearly die but he doesn't seem to have changed this very much like 
this is all these are the pens for the dogs and stuff so unless he has moved maybe and yeah this weirdly bad and like just badly thought out trap is still here so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there but if we just run through here and yeah you can see the vines are definitely more alive over there than they are over here so that is definitely a very good sign that he is still down here so let me go and just run through here i probably shouldn't be running through these vines because they are alive and they are working for igor and oh hello hello uh mr uwu face and mr owu face owo face um i'm going to assume you're like security or something so i'm just going to go and walk straight past you because you can't really do anything because you're sort of made out of wood so i'm just gonna go and run up here i think it was up there and actually can i get up these vines to get up there once again i probably shouldn't do this because it's probably slightly dangerous considering that they are alive however i can just keep on climbing up here and it does seem to be working okay uh yeah this does seem to oh hi igor hello oh my igor are you are you igor's mum Right, so I'm I'm here about Johnny Gat. He had to die. Why did he have to die, though? He had possessions we required and have since procured. And those possessions would be. That's not for you to know. Of course, it's for me to know. It's my world. Not for long. You can't know that I'm not going to be here for very long when I, I, I am going to be. And you can't stop us anymore. Our colonies are growing and expanding across the map, with a new hub at Johnny Gat's castle. What? So that's all you wanted? You, you, you just wanted land. You just wanted a new place to start growing. And for that you decide to blow up Johnny Gat's castle. It's not even on the opposite side of the map. And I, I noticed it. You could have even gone to like... An area like the old community or even uh mario's house just because that place is like like no one goes there except for mario and like they're not on the world that much so that seems to be a bit of a stupid decision one of the things run along wizard when igor is once again fully grown you won't have anywhere to run to That that's what you think. You can't just waltz in here and take what you want of me. You think you can just have the world to yourself and you think you can kill Johnny Gat with absolutely no consequences. All of which are wrong by the way. Whatever you do next, I will be there and I will stop you, no matter what it is that you do. So I will tell you what. To be fair, I can't really do anything <laughs> right now, so I'm just gonna leave you here and uh, prepare more defenses i mean i haven't got any defenses so uh, yeah feel free to invade anytime you want uh at least give me a week's notice please because uh, i want to catch it on camera um so yeah uh just gonna leave you to it lovely seeing you igor very stumpy i see just gonna shake your hand igor's mum uh goodbye um that was that was a bit of a weird um experience uh that they seem to have extended down there that's a tiny bit odd there's a creep down there uh i'm just gonna i should probably not look down here you can't see anyone down here so there doesn't seem to be any real harm in it let me just try and peek around this corner to make sure no one else is here uh, oh, okay there there is someone there there is someone there so we're not going to go down there however i am interested to know where this leads to because that does look like it's a place related to my world and there is a giant hole in the roof over there so and i can't quite see where that leads but i don't want to go around the corner otherwise that guy will 100 percent see me because he is looking right at me and as soon as he calls the alarm there is no way of getting out of here so i think the only thing that i can do right now is get out of here so that's what exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to run, run, run uh, as fast as I can. And you can't catch me. I'm the Hoovian man. Because that's totally a saying. Lovely seeing you two gentlemen security guards. 
I'll just be on my way, uwu and owu. So uh, I'm just going to run as fast as I can. I genuinely, last time I saw them and last time I faced them, I knew there was nothing I could do back then other than kill Igor. But now I can't even do that. He's tiny. He'll just regrow. And I can't kill his mum. Otherwise, like, she's made out of stone and I can't just destroy stone. Well, I think she's made out of stone. I think it's like more like sandstone. Actually, what I might do is these leaves are dead, so they won't feel this. So, oh, these vines are dead. And that is a lot of arrows. I don't mind if I do. But yeah, those, those are dead, so they shouldn't anymore be linked up with Igor himself. So I'm just going to try and take out this spider before it tries to take out me. Actually, I think it's daytime, so they probably won't have attacked me. Whoops. Uh, anyway, um, now he definitely won't attack me because he's no longer alive. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to... I think I have just got to prepare. I think I've got to prepare in every way possible because he's, his army has grown a lot. They've got a new hub on the other side of the world, that which means they can start colonising over there, and they might have done all that stuff over... Um, like... Uh, over on the other community like I said about and I wouldn't know because I don't go there enough so I think I think I really do need to pipe like really nail down knuckle down on security that's what I meant um, in this sort of general area because they've invaded over this side of the map well they're invading over this side of the map I'm hoping they won't take my house yet I think um, obviously I have got my whole thing of if they do I can just self destruct it and I've got another way because obviously there's a lot of uh, TNT just inside the mountain so I can just build like a slime plane and send it over here and that will set it off so there are ways of making sure that they can't just take my house however I don't want it to come to that because I do quite like that house and I'd rather not have to destroy it but anyway I don't think there is any more, anything more for me to say in this video. Uh, the next video will be online next week. As always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and the link will be in the description once it is online. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.